Welcome to Game Reactor TV and BlizzCon 2015. And this time we are talking about Heroes of the Storm. Uh, we got a lot of new announcements on uh, on Heroes of the Storm this uh, this week, and uh, let's start with the with the heroes themselves. We got tr at least three new heroes. Or four, depending on how you do the count. Uh, first, we have Lunara, uh, the Dryad. If you've played Warcraft 3, you remember the Dryad units from the Night Elf race. She's a very floaty ranged assassin who wears down her opponents with her poison abilities. We also have Greymane, the Worgen, the leader of Gilneas. And he's also a ranged assassin who wears down his opponents with his basic attacks from afar. But then, when they get low, he leaps in as a Worgen for the kill to rip their throats out. And then finally, Cho'Gal. Are we talking about Cho'Gal? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, Cho'Gal, I've been so excited to bring Cho'Gal to you guys. Um, this is a two-headed hero. He requires two players to play. One player will play as Cho, and he'll kind of be like the legs of the body, moving them around. The other player plays as Gaul, who's kind of like the gunner, if you think of like a driver and a gunner uh, from your you know, favorite shooter games. And so as Cho, you're moving around to get Gaul in a position who's going to blow up your opponents with his magic. Uh, so there are a lot of options in Blizzard games to choose uh, new heroes. How did you end up with these three? Um, so, oh, it's, there's so many things that go into consideration. We have, back at the office, we have a list of about 200 heroes we would love to bring into the Nexus. It's just a matter of, okay, how do we do them and in what order? And we were looking at the game as a whole, and we thought, you know, the game could really use some more ranged basic attackers. We have heroes like Vala the Demon Hunter and James Raynor, our Terran Marine from StarCraft, and they are great ranged basic attackers, but we wanted more. So... We wanted to bring in Lunara. We love the Dryad unit. We love her silhouette, and we thought we could do something fun with the way she moves. And in fact, she kind of hops along the battlefield. Um, but we also wanted to do something mechanically different. And so we were talking about doing this character who pokes from afar and goes into melee for the kill. And once we started talking about that, we were talking shapeshifters and we are talking Worgen, and we got really excited. Um, that's really the, the key factors. Are we as a development team excited to bring this hero? Because when we have that passion, we can bring that out to you guys. You'll get a hero that you know is built with a ton of love and energy just poured into that character design. Um, sometimes, though, we just want to continue to break the rules of the genre and just do the weirdest, wackiest things. And in this case, we wanted to do a two-player hero. And we thought, who better to be that two-player hero than Cho Gall, the two-headed ogre? It makes total sense, right? One player's one head, one player's the other. And there is a pretty interesting way to get Cho Gall. You can't just buy him, right? Correct. Um, for immediately when we release him, which will be very soon, um, everyone who is attending BlizzCon and is watching the virtual ticket will get Cho'Gal for free added to their accounts. We're also, in addition to that, seeding Cho'Gal to random players throughout the Nexus in different regions. Next, you can't buy Cho'Gal. Those players have him, but they can spread the Cho'Gal virus to their friends. You see, you don't need to own Cho'Gal to play him. As long as your friend owns Cho'Gal, when they select Cho or Gal in your party screen, the other head will light up and become available for you. And if you help your friend win a few games as Cho'Gal, they unlock Cho'Gal to their collection permanently as well. And then they can they go and spread that Cho'Gal virus to their friends as well. And if you help two of your friends unlock Cho'Gal, we'll even throw a little bit of gold your way as well as a thank you. Uh, the Cho'Gal character is pretty interesting because it's two players uh, controlling just one character. How does that work in the competitive uh, game modes? So to pick Cho'Gal competitively in a Hero League game, a Team League game, or a custom game where you're doing draft, you have to pair pick them. You can't first pick one head and then later somebody else has to pick that other head. Instead, you have to pick it when your team is picking two heroes. And both of those players need to select Cho and Gaul. As soon as both heads are selected and one player hits ready, both players are locked in and they're going to be the two-headed ogre. Now, when it comes to bans, uh, if you ban one head, you will be banning both heads from the game. All right. But there's also one uh, extra character you announced. Uh, oh, yes. So there's that's another completely another game invading uh, Heroes of the Storm. Can you tell a little bit about the Tracer character? Right. So we are excited to announce that the Overwatch world will be intersecting with the Nexus, and soon we'll be bringing Overwatch heroes into the Nexus. And first off, we're excited to announce Tracer will be coming to the battlegrounds. Um, I can't really talk about what she does. We're still really early on in development. Um, we've shown here at BlitzCon a, a few bit of the pose sheets and her 3D turnaround to show you how the art's coming along. But on the design side, we're still wrapping up the last little details about how she works, but she'll be coming real soon too. What about the timetable of the other three characters? 
Um, I can tell you that Cho'Gal will be coming out very soon. I can't say exactly when, um, but Lunara and then Greymane will be following them him up very shortly. I guess them. They're two players, <laughs> two heads. <laughs> All right. Uh, then again, you also uh, announced a new game mode, which is uh, pretty uh, uh, reminiscent of a other another uh, Blizzard game, Hearthstone. You call it. Uh, uh, Yes, so we're proud to announce the arena. This is something that we're still pretty early on in development on. We were just so close to having something showable here at BlizzCon. We're like, hey, let's, you know, uh, 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 let's polish up those rough edges and have something to show you guys uh, what we're cooking up as a new way to play Heroes of the Storm. Um, we're still figuring out all the details on how it works, but right now what we've got on show is as a quick game mode where you launch in, we're going to give you three random heroes to pick from, and these could be any heroes, not even heroes or heroes you don't even own yet. And you can select them and play them in a quick one to three minute match against another five players in a best of three scenario. So in any given arena, you're going to be playing three different heroes. There's also a very small chance that when you go into an arena game, the dice will roll in such a way that everybody will get the same hero. So you can have games with 10 Illidans fighting each other, flipping over each other, or 10 Sonyas whirlwinding through each other, or worst case, oh gosh, 10 Novas all running around cloaked waiting for that first one to snipe. Are the abilities and talents also randomized? Uh, so what happens when you spawn in an, an arena game, you're going to start at level 10. You won't be picking any talents, you'll just pick your heroic ability and you're off to the races. Right. Uh, is there going to be a price tag on the, on the uh, game mode or is it going to be uh, completely free? So we're talking exactly how the arena mode will work. From our, our current perspective, we, we really view arena mode as a fun way to get a quick game in. Especially, let's say you log in, your friend's five minutes into playing and you're going to play with him. He's five minutes into a game. That's okay, go in and hop in an arena mode and that'll take about ten minutes or so. And by the time you're done, you can hop out and play with your friend. We're still figuring out exactly how it's going to work and how it's going to be dropped in the Nexus. Is it just another button you press? How do you get into these games? What kind of a reward system we have built around it? We don't know yet how it's all going to work. We're looking to you guys, our fans. What are, you, what are the kind of things you're expecting from us? How can we deliver on those fantasies? There is also one new map, right? Yes, so we're proud to announce Towers of Doom, our newest battleground. This map is crazy. It's totally different than all of our other battlegrounds. You're not going to be pushing down lanes and just beating the enemy's core. Instead, you're fighting for control of these forts. And you can flip forts, uh, as, as making them yours and your teams. These altars will then rise, allowing your team to capture them. And when you capture an altar, you get to deal damage to the enemy's core based on how many forts you own. So it's a constant rotating king of the hill game where you're capturing forts from your enemies and defending your forts, but then the altars will spawn and your team has to make a mad dash to capture the altars. So how do you end, uh, go and uh, choose the characters? Uh, do you go by the talents or the character models themselves first? So we do a lot of things when deciding what new hero to bring into the Nexus. We look at all of our different um, universe representations. How many Warcraft, Diablo, Starcraft, and now Overwatch heroes do we already have? You know, how are we doing on the archetypes? Have we been adding a lot of warriors lately, or a lot of supports, or specialists, or assassins? What heroes are our players playing? Are they playing a lot of a certain type of hero? Should we be adding more of that type so they can get a more diverse roster? Or we also look at the art. Are there a certain silhouette shape we should introduce, something that would be unique and fresh? And then sometimes we just got a crazy mechanic. We got to get out of our systems, like say a two-player hero. And then we look for what character could best fit that. You know, every hero has their own unique story, how they entered the Nexus. But that's just a few of the ways that we're looking at how to pick what comes next. Oh, and believe me, we're also listening to you guys, the fans, and what heroes you guys are clamoring for. Man, we can't believe this hero's in the game. Like we get, that. we love those types of threads from you guys, and we're really excited to see what you guys are excited to come in. Uh, what are the actually the most uh, requested heroes? Oh, uh, shoot! I, I there's so many heroes. I mean, that list is super long. I think our fans put together like a hundred hero list that we're all receiving like over you know 50 to 100 votes out of this 2,000 vote thing. It's like, oh my gosh, that's so many characters. Everybody wants them all. All right. Is there anything else you want to uh, tell us about the new uh, new announcements or game modes? Um, Definitely check out Cho'Gall. If you've never played Heroes of the Storm and you're looking to jump in, now is the best time ever. Gaul is the perfect hero to get your start off in our game. And let me tell you, this is just the beginning. I want to tell you guys that we've got a lot we're working on. If I can't quite tell you about, that's going to be coming out after these three heroes, after this new mode. We've got so much in store for you guys. All right, there you have it. Thanks for the interview. Oh, thank you.